Yep, yep, yep. As well, Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Woo! Start of the week, knocked out another 12 mile run. You heard what I said, another 12 mile run once I've made that the standard to push myself just a little more to the point where I couldn't do another step. That's what it's all about. Pushing yourself, pushing yourself, pushing yourself. So, we are recording this. We are within 100 or somewhere approaching 90 days before the college football season kicks off and starts. So there's always that itch. You get that itch. And if you kept up with me, kept up with my work for any amount of time, you know the amount of influence that football, just being a football player, being around the football world has had on me and things like that. So today, another story about the lessons that you could take from the gridiron, all right? We, it was my junior year, going into my junior year of high school and <laughs> went to Good Council High School, for those of you who don't know, in Olney, Maryland. <laughs> and we were transitioning to a brand new strength coach. His name was Skylar Saw. All right, brand new, young, 26-year-old guy, not too far from the age of the high school player. So it was very hard for him to establish credibility, especially amongst the high school kids. Listen, I was a high school coach at 26. I know exactly, I know the feeling of trying to get high school boys to really believe in what you're saying and to get them to buy in to the things that you're all about, right? So he's a strength coach and he comes in implementing all of his his knowledge, his strength and conditioning knowledge. I believe he was a kinesiology major and he, he spent some time in the, college, the collegiate level on the strength and condition, the strength and conditioning department, right? So he comes in and he tells us, look, we're not, we're not, I'm going to try to get the meals changed before the games. No more spaghetti and meatballs. No more. No, we want to get some, maybe some salad, some cold turkey, you know, something light. No, the spaghetti and the meatballs with the marinara is just too heavy on you guys' stomach when you're getting ready to go play a football game. And we fought him. We fought him. <laughs> Listen, we fought Coach Sar for that for days to the point where he never actually got it done. We never changed the meal. So that year we never changed the meal and we got the spaghetti and meatballs like we always did, right? So we get to our first home game. You know, that's usually when we had our meals ready for us during our home Friday night games because right after school, they, the coaches and the parents organized it. So we get our meals. It wasn't during the away games because that was usually played on Saturday nights. And, you know, we would, it was not Saturday nights, but Saturday afternoon. So it was just a matter of us getting some breakfast in us and things like that. But the home games is when it was when we got our own meals, right? So <laughs> it's our first home game of the year and we had our spaghetti and meatballs. And one of the one of the, the superstars at the time, his name was Akeem Hebron, who was actually on this very podcast. The title of his episode is titled "From Father from Linebacker to Fatherhood." All right, go check Joe check that out. It's a while back. I did a, a podcast episode with Akeem. Right. So, anyway, Akeem being one of our main guys, excuse me, being one of our main guys, it, it was the first half. Right, it was the first half. And he throws up. <laughs> he throws up on the field. He throws up all the spaghetti and meatballs. Like I, I didn't even see it actually. I think it was like after a play, and he threw it all up, and he went back out there and played. You know, it happens from time to time, especially when it comes to early in the season when it's really, really hot out there and things like that, right? So we get to halftime, and Akeem is just kind of reflecting on it, and he looks at he looks at one of our, our teammates, and he goes, "Look, no more spaghetti and meatballs. No more spaghetti and meatballs." <laughs> and everyone just looked at Coach Sar, and Coach Sar is just like. And told you, I told you. And he takes, he takes the tape that was in his head. He throws it at the kid like I fucking told you. All right. So again, a lesson, especially as we're approaching football season. We got camps coming up. We got <clears throat> a lot of heat happening and seven on seven, whatever it is. Make sure you're listening to the people who are educated in that space. And as coaches too, as coaches that are putting on these camps and having these kids run around in this hot sun, make sure you're getting them hydrated. Make sure you're putting the right people around them so you don't fuck them up for the whole season. You don't give them lingering cramps and things like that. You know, it's, it's always a problem, especially this time of year when everyone's trying to get recruited. You go out there, you go to a camp and you, you, know, you exert too much of your energy. Next thing you know, you end up with a, <coughs> a pulled groin, a pulled hamstring that's going to bother you for the entire season. So make sure, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you're staying cognizant to those kinds of things as well. All right. Main website to check out for all of these things, makeyourmove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. Also, if you are a collegiate athlete that is listening to me now or you'd like to recommend a collegiate athlete to me, I am, doing, I am active in the NIL business. I do 
do NIL deals, broker NIL deals with collegiate athletes. So if you know anyone that's interested in that, be sure to get in touch with me. There's a brief, brief questionnaire on, uh, on makeyourmove.com. So just go check that out. It's a very, very simple, easy process, all right? <clears throat> As one crook shank, you're one and only Move Swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.